Hi, I'm Corey Gregory, co-founder of Muscle Farm, cover model and owner of the Old School Gym. I got my exercise specialist degree from Columbus State here in, in Ohio. I'm also NESTA, nutrition coach certified. I have the specialized strength training certification from the West Side Barbell, and I just recently got my CrossFit Level 1 trainer accreditation. So I have a little bit of uh, all angles to my training, and that, that's why I'm not really married to any one system. What's cool about uh, my family's history is both sides lifted weights. Uh, we're Irish and English and, and Italian. We have all the Italian guys are all stocky, thick dudes that always power lifted. My mom's side was all uh, more like athletic wrestlers, but they're both coal miners. And so, figure the first generation of coal mining was like late 1800s, all the way through to me. So a fourth generation miner saved my money to go to college in my first gym. And so the work ethic that I've received was blue collar through and through in the gym and out of the gym. That's why people always, um, they like to see kind of like the griminess that I still keep because that's, that's me. That's, you know, that's what got me here. That's what will continue to push me forward. And so that's what's, I think a little bit unique and they always make fun of me say I'm the real Zoolander, which is pretty funny. But that, realistically, that's the kind of work I think that was instilled in me at an early age and so I carry that through. My passion for this industry started at the grassroots level in my basement in the gym at 14 years old, just trying to make myself better. I was a competitive natural bodybuilder, competed in 14 events, over 20 plus powerlifting meets, and just love it, eat it, breathe it. And as I got better, got more confident, then it was about making other people better. And so the natural fit for me was becoming a trainer. And before I knew it, I had about 25 uh, training clients. And so I'm 20 years old, I'm in the industry, I said, you know what, I ain't got nothing to lose, I'm gonna start my own gym. You know, the old school gym is, is me. It's got the concrete floors, we got the, the coal mine belts on, in the weight room. It's a unique facility. It breathes work when you walk in. It breathes sweat. I don't care what you wear, I just want you to come work hard. And what's cool about the gym is I own it with Dustin Myers, who's been my high school friend since I was, I think we met, we started lifting together when we were 14 or 15 years old. And so we literally were in his dad's garage one day and said, dude, we should just own a gym together and just be cool, lift weights, make money, do whatever it is. And we were joking, obviously. <laughs> and so, but half serious at the same regard. So now he trains Olympic wrestlers, UFC guys, NFL guy. I mean, Dan Boomheron, ex Ohio State running back, plays for the Bengals. Um, working with Beanie Wells, who plays for the Cardinals, has been coming through here. Maurice Claret, former national championship running back with Ohio State. This place is in the middle of nowhere, but you got a little bit of who's who coming through here. It's pretty fun. The natural um, next move for me was supplements. I always loved supplements and diet, and so becoming a supplement owner, co-founder, and trying to push myself to the, a high level of fitness at the same time was huge, and just a, um, every day I pushed for that. And so when we founded Muscle Farm, man, it was like a dream come true to me. And now I have a platform to be able to get all this information out to help people and also um, set the blueprints for their success too. And so that, that's what I'm truly passionate about. And now I get a chance through bodybuilding.com, through my Twitter, through Facebook, to reach hundreds of thousands of people every day, which is awesome. It's hard to define my overall philosophy because I'm not really married to anything, right? I have bodybuilding, like high volume, old school background originally, then moved into a West Side Method powerlifting, which I love. Actually, it's probably one of my, I'm more passionate about than anything. And then I have this CrossFit kind of spin off that I've learned lately. I like the band training, the chain. So I'm kind of a big intermix of all those things. But that's also what's kept myself growing stronger. My body weight has ranged from 170 photo shoot ready. 240 in powerlifting. And so I've seen all different aspects of me personally in performance too. Um, so, you know, it's, it's all over the board, but that's what makes it cool. I try to centralize what I'm doing goal-wise though. So like right now, I'm doing a mixture of bodybuilding with some powerlifting moves and a little bit of high intense stuff because I was getting ready for photo shoots. 
when I come out of that photo shoot, I might go some lower reps, some more powerlifting stuff to put on some sides. I'll change it a little bit, but at the end of the day, we might be doing powerlifting and then all of a sudden I go right back to an Arnold leg day just for fun. You know, so it, I just want to keep myself involved, enthused, and we got a group of 10 guys that work out with us. So, I mean, we want to keep it different and fun and challenge everybody. And I'm challenging some high level people, so I got to bring, bring my A game as a trainer too, even though I'm not training them, but I'm running the group. So it's the same, you know? Monday through Friday is weightlifting oriented. Right now, it's kind of a west side concept with bodybuilding. On Saturdays, we do what's called my thousand rep workout, which is 10 body weight exercises at 100 reps each. And sometimes we do it weighted, sometimes we do it without weight, but uh, that's a pretty unique program that we got set up. Other than that, I take off Sundays, fully off Sundays. Let my hormones kind of relax, get back in check. Um, just let my brain kind of heal, but I have to, it's hard for me to stay out of the gym. I've put together programs for the community that are four weeks at a time. You can waive it three, four weeks, that's fine. For us, we're at a level to where my body needs a different variable each time. So realistically, I'm never doing the same workout the same week multiple times in a row, ever. One thing that you need to know if you're just getting into weight training is I think that you need to go and be around somebody that gets it. Like, gets it for real. And, and, and take some time, invest into somebody around you that can help you. Somebody that's gonna lead you in the right direction right off the bat. I mean, that's what I preach to everybody. Because you, you wanna have the correct direction. I mean, that, that, that's, that's it. It took me a little while to figure out my nutrition and I realized that I'm super insulin sensitive and meaning like I really can't eat a ton of carbohydrates whenever I'm training. It just, uh, I could never get tight. It just seems like I'd be rotating oatmeal and sweet potatoes and all these things and it just never worked for me. And so over time, uh, my chief formulator at Muscle Farm, Dr. Serrano, we started working on some things and he said, Corey, I think you should go more towards a high fat, low carbohydrate. Um, and really then you don't have to count calories as much, but quality food's important, obviously. And so I kind of came up with my own approach with the doctor. And so when I created the Busy Diet, which you can download at bodybuilding.com, it really started to work for me. So five meals a day, low carbs, um, medium to high fat. And as my metabolism gets faster, I can eat more and more. And so that's where the adjustment part comes as you get you know, more used to doing these things. My eggs went from three eggs in the busy diet to six eggs. And from a quarter cup of almonds to a whole cup of almonds, but I'm still losing weight. And so I adjust those things as it goes, but the base of it is the busy diet that's um, at bodybuilding.com. My whole goal is to stay within six to seven weeks of a photo shoot, a video shoot, whatever it is. And so I try to keep my body fat percent in check mostly all year round. I don't really believe in the up and down stuff like I used to. I used to be the guy that would blow up to 220, then really have to struggle to get back to middleweight to compete at 174. It's just too difficult. And so I like to stay really about 190, 187, 190. I can compete in powerlifting at a couple different weight classes, or I can get ready for photo shoots um, six, seven weeks. I do let myself have some things on the weekends if I need. I like pizza, which I don't eat that very often because that really messes me up. Um, I really like, uh, and I always tell people on my cheat meals, I go more towards sugar cheats rather than bread cheats. The bread just totally messes me up with my insulin sensitivity, but I can go eat me a Dairy Queen Blizzard and it's wrap. <laughs> it's funny because on Instagram, my recipes are whatever it is and crushed red peppers on top of it. <laughs> so people are like, Dude, do you eat anything else besides red, red pepper, black pepper? That's really, I'm one of those people that zones in, I call it tunnel vision. I zone in and I know what's gonna make my body look that way. That's just what it is for me and I'll do it. Uh, I'm, once I lock in on the goal that I've got to achieve, whether it's training or diet, it's over. I mean, I just, I just lock in and I'm, I'm ready to go. It's, it's hard for me to, to come out of that mode. I think everybody needs to look for themselves on what really works for them. You gotta be your own science project, guinea pig, whatever you say. At the end of the day, there's so many different issues with so many different people. You're gonna have to tweak it to you. I think that you can't go wrong with a medium fat, low carbohydrate, you know, high to medium protein type of diet as a base. And I always say, you can't eat a maintenance diet to get an adequate result of what you're going. No one wants to lose a half pound a week. No one. They want to lose two, three pounds a week or more. And if you're going to eat a maintenance diet, you're going to get a maintenance result. So you got to do something that's a little bit difficult and puts you uncomfortable. My whole thing is 
If you live comfortable, you're probably gonna get that kind of result. You gotta live a little uncomfortable if you wanna push yourself. The training that we do, that I've shown, is not what a normal guy does walking around. In my opinion, you need extra things because no one's getting the amount of food in. I mean, I prepare food like crazy, but you're still having a hard time meeting the needs of your body from the performance level if you don't have supplementation. So I'm obviously pro supplements being the muscle farm guy. What's cool about my situation is I was able with Brad and Dr. Serrano to create the supplements around what I thought the need was for myself when I was gaining weight, when I was losing weight, and truly was able to like test product during phases that I was going through, which is I think a pretty unique uh, kind of thing, you know, in the industry. One supplement that I can't live without while I'm getting ready for stuff is Shred Matrix. Part of the reason why when I created Shred Matrix with these guys is that I was in the cupboards at night because you know I needed something that had appetite suppression at a high level. I didn't want something that had caffeine that like blew my head off. I wanted something just clean energy and I just wanted something that kind of kept me drier. And so that was like three major components and focus that I, that I look for. And so that's one that I can't live without for sure. Um, I'm so busy with, with my job and with the company that muscle gel has been huge for me just because it's on the go protein, which I talk about in the busy diet like crazy. On the other regards, just having the hybrid and O or the salt pre-workout, just having a solid pre-workout that's clean um, and really the nighttime recovery knocks me out but I still feel refreshed in the morning. And then usually, protein, other protein source I use is Combat, which is our, is our blended whey. And it's digestive enzymes, so it's really easy on my stomach. So really, those are the, the main core products. Um, I do use CLA, I use Armor V. I mean, I have access to so many supplements. It's not even really fair, right? So, I mean, the biggest perk to me, sometimes they think it's uh, hanging out at the UFC fights or the athletes or uh, the cool things we get to do. At the end of the day, I'm like a straight supplement guy. So to me, having unlimited branch chains is, is a key to my success, absolutely, so. All right, so that's it with my training, supplementation, and nutrition. If you have any more questions, just hit me up at Twitter, uh, Muscle Farm Prez, or on my body space. And for more content like this, just check out bodybuilding.com. Don't forget to check out the Busy Diet, too.